Hi everyone, this is Eva from a mom in her car .com and on Instagram at a mom in her car um, as well. This is my third floss tube. Um, this is a little bit of an extra floss tube, not the normal kind that I do, but I was gonna start my new Valentine stitch today and it's my first time using 40 count. So I thought I would do a little video about it. So one of the things I got myself for Valentine's Day is this um, Plum Street Sampler Sweetheart Hill. I just love it. You know, I belong with you and the sweethearts on the, on Sweetheart Hill. And, and so um, I decided for Valentine's weekend, this is a three day weekend for me, I would get a good start on this. We'll see how far I get. Um, I have no plans about when to finish this one, but I just thought it would be fun to, to work on. I also um, am using pretty much the called for colors, um, uh, Classic Color Works and Weeks Dye Works. And I say pretty much because I know there's one in here that I'm missing. I just can't remember what it is. I'm sure when I get to it, <laughs> I'll figure it out and I'll either have to substitute it or look in my stash to see if I can find it. Um, the other thing I'm using, I, mean, I, usually, I usually use Pat Carson needles, but they didn't have any at my um, local needle workshop. And so I got these Bowen size 28 um, needles and I've actually started using these on another project and I really like them. I think I might switch to 28 on everything. They just seem to go through the fabric a little easier and I like them. Um, these, I think I got one pair at my um, local needle workshop, the Stitch Niche, and I then I think I ordered some on Etsy. They're super cheap. You can just throw them in your bag, so I have lots of pairs of these. And what I like about them is you can get really close to the thread on the back and snip it off, so that's great. Um, I use these pretty cheap. Um, I'm not good at, I see people just thread their needles without anything, and I'm just not good at that. So I need just a cheap needle threader. I buy these in bulk off of Amazon. And this cross stitch key I, I got from Fat Quarter Shop. Um, I'm part of their Stitch Quarterly Club and this came in one of our Stitch Quarterlies. Um, and so this helps me, um, I do anywhere between two and two and a half as a start. And this is the beautiful piece of linen, the 40 count linen that I'm going to use. This is Platinum um, Zweigart, I believe. Um, and I am going to stitch on this side. I, I do things a little, I think I do it differently, I don't know. Maybe you can make a comment and let me know, but I start in the bottom right on a piece. I prefer to start, I prefer to stitch right to left and up and down. I do one X at a time. Don't ask me why, <laughs> but that's just, that's just what I do. I guess that's how I sort of taught myself. So on this, I'm gonna start down here with this um, really white cream color. Um, and I love this. I'll probably outline at first and then um, fill in a little and then do the words, fill in a little, that kind of thing to keep it going. That's sort of my plan right now. We'll see. And I'm going to take this off screen because I don't want the pattern to be in here, but I'm going to be starting with Classic Color Works eggshell here. So let me get this out. Here's my eggshell. Um, I see, I see how um, some shops sort of make them cute like this that look like a braid. I don't know why they do that, if any of you know. That'd be interesting for me to know. So I keep my thread on these rings. I just order those off of Amazon. That's how I stay organized. I don't have a big enough stash of Classic Color Works or Weeks Dye Works to really, I mean, I don't have a stash. It's just I have a few projects kitted up. So I, I mean, I just keep them in the bag with the projects. When I start getting stash, like I have quite a few DMCs, when I start getting that many of, of the overdyed threads, I'll need a better solution. And I'm really trying to think through that um, and how I can store those in my office. So um, I do, I get interrupted a lot when I stitch. And so I'm pretty meticulous about putting things right back on the card. Um, and for example, I'm gonna take off two strands of this eggshell and then I'll put the rest back on the card because if not, I get distracted. I have two cats, they come along and steal my thread from me or I just lose it and this stuff is too expensive and too precious. And it's not even the expense right now. I mean, you can't even find all the thread colors that you need and want. And so it's too precious to, 
to loose and so I just stick it back on there and then you know I do a lot of stitching in the car I would even toss this back in my bag so it doesn't get lost taking my threads here so one of the reasons that I do floss tubes in addition to being part of this very nice and kind community is to learn more and in each of my videos I've gotten really great helpful I forgot to get a needle out helpful tips no I distinctly remember getting a needle out so that'll be fun to find later that's fine I'll get another one anyhow one of the reasons I do floss tubes is it I want to learn and so if any of you have tips or tricks or you just do it slightly differently I would love for you to let me know um, and you know feel free to give me critical advice as well because the, like I said this is my very first time stitching on 40 count I have stitched on 32 count I've stitched on 18 count Ada but I feel like this 32 count is going to be different I might the staple here is from this piece oh no that's gonna get in my way um, I probably should have taken this off ahead of time I am gonna keep this little piece of paper in my bag because I'm not experienced enough to remember what what the fabrics are what it's called and so I'm just gonna keep that in my bag and I note it on my spreadsheet where I keep up with things so here we go I'm gonna start in my top right again if you have tips or tricks for how you start um, especially on this 40 count please let me know I'm not an exact you know I don't try to get too exact at this I just sort of see what works here and I feel like I need to go up just a little bit maybe it's more like right okay so I have my cross key there I never do this well. I, my pieces are always sort of off center, but with this border, I'm feeling a little more confident because it's a squared off border. I tend to do really badly when it's like, I would do horrible starting up there. That would probably be right by the edge of the fabric. But this, I feel like I have two and a half down for sure. And not quite two and a half over, so I may even go over a little more, a little bit of a guesstimate. So again, if anybody has a better way, see how I feel like I went too far. Okay, I'm gonna go with it. So I'm going to put my um, pattern off screen so you can't see it, but basically, I just need to go 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm just going to go 16 up and get started here. Let's see how hard these holes are for me to see. I'm really curious about this. So I have a good alt light, which I'm going to show in my next floss tube video, my more traditional floss tube video that I film on Sundays. I found a great lot uh, alt light at Costco that I'm going to leave in my living room and so I'm sitting here with that light right now and I have my readers um, they're just one magnification I need to go to the doctor and get um, the right prescription but that those are the tools I'm using to attack this 40 count and I do a I just loop it through here so turn it over and catch it here so first of all I like how nicely this thread runs through the linen that already feels different to me than Ada or some of the other things that I've stitched on so I'm happy about that and then it had one little lone X here on the pattern and then a row of 16 that went up Oh, I already realized, see, this is what happens when you get a newbie doing 40. I'm using two threads and I'm only supposed to do one. And I caught that because it was so hard to pull these two threads through. And I was just thinking, I can't imagine doing a row up. So I think that's right. I think I'm only supposed to go over one. 
one thread over two. So there you go. I also wonder if that will save me some thread in the long run. So let's try that again. All right, got my thread on. Let me get my cross stitch key. Pick a good spot here. I think that's the side I want to stitch on. I don't know. How do you, I would love to hear comments about how you usually tell. I don't, I don't know. To me, this looks like the front. It sounds like there's no science behind that. Obviously it was just a gut feeling that this is the front. So here we go again. I'm going to use my cross stitch key. I will test it out. See where I got. Oops. Pretty good. Yeah, okay, I feel good about that. So then I have one over, I stitch in hand too. I started with the Q-snap, but there's so much to keep up with. There's so many details with, you know, I mean like I need the threader, I need the needle, I need the scissors, I need my cross stitch key at the beginning. And, and I, like I said, I stitch on the go a lot. And so for me, when I learned that people stitch in hand, it, it helped me realize that that's one less thing to keep up with and also like one less thing to spend money on because I want as much of my money going to pretty linen like this and pretty floss and not so much um, on the other accessories wherever I can help it. I don't think that I did over two here. So this is going to be the learning curve for me for sure. And I have to get really close. I'm, I don't even know what this looks like in the camera. So one thread over two. I've already managed to do something. When you accidentally go through the thread like this. Okay. Well, it's going to take me uh, several years to stitch this piece if this is the pace that I go. Um, okay, I got it. There we go. All right, made it in. And then I've gone over here. I've got my two and a half inch border. Here we go. Put this through. Let's see if I can make a single stitch here. I got a little rough patch in the linen. It's kind of catching my thread. So I think I'll have to get used to that. I know some people use wax on their thread. I've never tried that. I wonder if that's something I'm going to need to try. All right. Well, we at least have it started here. I also usually railroad, which you can't do with, well, obviously you can't do with one thread. Ooh, those holes are tiny. That's going to be interesting to figure out how to get used to that. Um, a lot of people in the comments have talked about um, a good magnifier, so I think I have my lighting situation figured out, but it's a good magnifier that I'm going to have to um, figure out. I have a little knot in my thread already. So, let's see here, where to go? Okay. All right, I've got one stitch, and now I need to go up 16. Oh yeah, that's much better going through than the two. Okay. I'm sort of in an awkward position here. 
stitching, so I'm not going to do too many. Yeah, I can see how a good magnifying glass would help me. So, I will keep stitching. Um, I My guess is that I end up pulling these stitches out and starting over again because they're already a little rough and I'm just kind of getting some practice at it. But all in all, I love the feel of this linen in my hand. I really like stitching with just one thread. Um, I have done this a little bit on 18 count Ada. Um, my Spooky Hollow, I was trying to make Dracula's coffin shop look really spooky and so I just did one thread and it, I really enjoyed that. It seemed to go much faster and I feel like I'm getting the hang of this a little better as well just with my first few stitches so I may just pull this out off video and restart and then what my plan is yeah I mean I can tell I'm already addicted to this look how pretty these are this is so nice with just one thread okay so what my plan is is like I said, I'll go up here, I'll go all the way across, down, then I'll come back here because I like stitching right to left, I'll stitch this bottom row, and then I'll go up and down to fill these in, and when I get to the letters, I'll stop and do them, fill in. Um, so that'll take me, I mean, I can already tell that's gonna take me a while, and I'm totally okay with that. This is just a fun piece to throw in there. I can't wait for the house. I actually like big fill areas. That's very relaxing to me. So I don't know. I'm excited about my new Valentine's start and I'll um, show you my progress on Sunday when I record. I don't think it'll be much, but hopefully if I can at least have this little banner outlined, that'll be a good start for me. So thanks so much for um, watching and as always all of your very 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 kind comments and all the tips please as many tips as you want to put in this video um it would be great um and you know, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video on this channel and thanks so much have a good day